four ways God can help you. These are four easy ways that not a lot of people know about, or maybe they just don't understand the importance of it. So I'm going to share these four amazing steps with you, amazing tips, try them out and then enjoy the harvest. So let's start today's video like this. How many times have you noticed people saying, oh, I can't make the right decisions in life. Oh, my marriage is not working. Oh, my finances are going down. Oh, my health is deteriorating. We hear this all day and every day. You, we hear it from others and we probably use this kind of vocabulary ourselves. Well, I'm here to tell you that the reason that these things are happening in our lives is because we are far away from God and we can't hear his guidance. We're not listening to his guidance. So we're not understanding the presence of God because we're far away from God. We're far too busy with day-to-day -day things. We're busy believing the lies of the enemy. We're busy in distractions, on social media maybe. We're busy with lust. We're busy with temptation. We're busy with responsibilities, with other tasks, with X, Y, Z. And we're far, we, keep, we keep ourselves far away from God. We're not listening to God's guidance. I mean, have you realized times, think back now. Have you realized times when you spent the most time with God? It was the times when you had the most peace the most clarity, the most answers, the most solutions. And now think back at times when you spend the least amount of time with God, it was the times when you had the, le the least peace, less clarity, less solutions and less answers. And so the first way God can help you is to move closer to him and start listening to his guidance. If you like that, give me a thumbs up and comment yes. And let's move on to the second thing. God's power works towards those who believe. This is very important. Write it down somewhere where you can see it often. God's power works toward those who believe. So you can't have an unveiling of God's reality, an unveiling of God's wisdom, an unveiling of God's strength, of God's power of God's miracles, of God's blessing, if you do not believe in that reality, if you do not believe in God's miracles, in God's strength, in God's power, if you don't believe in that re reality, you cannot have an, 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 an unveiling of it. Mark 9.23 says, the Bible says, all things are possible for those who believe, not some things, all things are possible for those who believe. So when it comes to your finances, once you've gone through step one, when it comes to your finances, believe that God has his hand in it. When it comes to your relationships, believe that God has his hand in it. When it comes to your health, believe that God has his hands in it. And so the second way God can help you is to believe Believe in God, believe in his miracles, believe in his power and his strength and stop the disbelief. Stop the unbelief. So if you like that, give me a thumbs up, comment yes, and let's go on to step number three. So everything God does is according to his power working through you. Let me repeat that. Everything God does is according to his power working through you. So everything God does in my life is according to his power working through me. So we need to start living in a way that reflects God. And that by doing so, we allow God's power to work through us. Because we have him in our hearts. We have Jesus in our hearts. So we need to start living in a way that reflects God. And by doing so, God will become our experience. We will start to see God in our work, in our career, in our finances, in our health, in our relationships. Everywhere we look, God's hand will be in every single area of our life. Why? Because we're living that way. We invite him in and we start to reflect God. To reflect him means to shine, to shine out. It reflects out, it radiates out, which means he is already within us. And so once again, everything God does is according to his power 
that is working and moving in you. Before God can start making changes and improvements in your life, he needs to first start making changes and improvements in you. And then what is in you will reflect outside of you. So I'll give you an example with me. Before I do anything, I make sure to run everything by God. If I'm gonna, if I have a business opportunity, I run it by God first. If I, if someone's asking me out, I run it by God first. If I'm gonna do something huge in my life, I run it by God first. But don't get me wrong, I don't, I'm not gonna go into a two-hour prayer just to buy a, buy a pair of earrings. You know, it, it, know when to, where to draw the line. And so, the third thing, the third way God helps us, God helps us is to live in a way that reflects God. And God will start to show up in every single area of our life. With that being said, let's move on. If you like that, give me a thumbs up. Let's move on to the next one. Make sure that what you do glorifies God and not inflames your ego. So make sure what you do is for the purpose of God glorifying him and, and praising him and not for your own superiority maybe to make yourself look good maybe to get more likes maybe 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 and so make sure that what you do is to glorify God so I'll give you an example a personal example of myself when I work one-to-one -one with clients and I see that they get their transformation they break their breakthrough I love that because this gives me the opportunity to glorify God. Because if God was not working through me, I could not produce those results. If God was not working through me, I would be going by it with my own mind. And who knows what results I would have produced. Maybe they were good, maybe they, they won't be good results. But when I work one-to-one -one with clients, I have God working through me. And when I reach results and break breakthroughs, I glorify God. Another example is when I help charities... And I see that I'm part of the reason why this person or this animal is living a better life, a more comfortable life. I glorify God for that. I say, God, thank you for allowing me to be a part of that. Because if God was not working through me, I probably would do what I used to do many years ago. I would say something like, someone else can sort that out. Let them sort out their own stuff. But God is now working through me. So I love to help these charities. And when I see they're living a better life, I glorify God for that. Because God is at the center of that. And so make sure that when it comes to your business, you put God at the center of that business and you glorify him. When it comes to your finances, you put God at the center of your finances and you glorify him when you get your breakthrough. You put God at the center of your health, at the center of your relationships. And when you see changes happening in these areas of your life, glorify God. Don't, don't use it to inflame your ego or, to, or, or for, to make yourself superior. Glorify God for those things. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God. And everything else will be added to you. So use the previous steps that I've, that, that I've just explained. Draw God closer. Listen to God. Listen to his guidance. Believe in him. Let go of disbelief. Live in a way that reflects God. Glorify him. Right? And seek first the kingdom. Because when you do so, those things, everything else will be added to you. Whatever is needed. Whether it's, it's needed in your finances or your marriage or your health or your relationships. I don't know what is needed and I don't, I don't know God's plan for your life. But whatever is needed for God's will for your life, everything else, everything will be added to you when you seek first the kingdom and you glorify God and you seek his righteousness. So the fourth way God can help you is to glorify him. So with that being said, use these steps, try them out and then enjoy your harvest. With that being said, let me very quickly introduce you to my book, Success in the Subconscious Mind. Purchase your copy on uh, Amazon. Um, I will also leave links in the comment box or in the description. And there are multiple links. So go there, head there and see what works for you. Uh, with that being said, make sure to like, share and subscribe. Glory to Jesus and be blessed.
in the name of Jesus Christ.